a drink. We're going to plant dippity doo. <laughs> You're wet. Oh no. Repeat the same stitch over and over and over and over, and you might think that's like tediously obnoxious insanity, but it's very, very mesmerizingly therapeutic. Weeding is very similar. You just just find the pattern, yeah. and it's like time to sit down and ponder. <laughs> oh, and something we just found out: I read somewhere that you can eat pea shoots. So just now we tasted for the very first time. A pea leaf. And mm. I'm so excited. It tastes exactly like... It's like you're eating peas. Snap peas. And it's yummy. And so I'm like... <laughs> Does it taste as good with the stock too? Mm -hmm. Or is it a little bit more Really bitter? sweet. Just like a snap pea. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we planted so many because now I want to eat them. Because they're really good. <laughs> This time of year is really fun when it's starting to get warm because these things just suddenly start to pop up and they grow so quickly in this warm weather. There's there something go. so satisfying about directly sowing in the garden. There's also something very satisfying by sticking a plant straight a finished the plant <laughs> out and it's like... Oh, it's already plant. done. I have a garden now. <laughs> So we are so happy to have the, the really difficult part of gardening season behind us. <clears throat> Almost. Almost. We only have three things left to plant, at least three things that we really We keep are changing set on. our mind because we're, we're getting lazy. We want to eat corn, but we don't want to plant it. And we want to eat beans, but we don't want to plant them. But we already have! melons and squash so we're definitely planting those because they're already growing in yeah. the greenhouse and work. they're back there you can see our cucumber house that we built yesterday and we're starting to build other <laughs> we're building a little city of squash houses and cucumber squash houses town. yeah a little squash town <laughs> <laughs> so where would we put the corn then we're thinking over in our old garden over here which i've been tilling repeatedly. Also, I've gone a little crazy with the tilling. I, I tilled this whole area over there where Hammy and the other pig were last year. But we don't know, we're we don't know where we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to have to water it like all day. Yeah, planting that's is actually the, easy, but it's watering. I want the fruits of our labors, but I don't want our labors to last. I don't want to water all day every day. It gets old, but if we do it the right times of the day, I guess. Yeah. We've been doing it right at like one or two. Hot. It's just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so let's show you what we're doing out here though with the squash. This is another um, spaghetti squash, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So this just like the one that we planted. <laughs> we planted it inside the, the little cucumber house. Uh, when we first bought this house almost four years ago, we threw all of our jack-o'-lanterns out. Right here against the house. Um, come springtime, we had pumpkins growing. Yeah. And look, we'll show you it happened again. It's happened every year since. As long as we leave at least one squash out there, it's always been pumpkins, then it will just it'll just provide us with more in the next year. Right here is where all the squash grew. Now we ripped the roof out and all of this stuff hasn't been cleaned up yet. Here, there it is. Here's the one squash that survived the pumpkin. 
Um, we're pretty sure that's a Cinderella pumpkin. I think it's called. We never threw any kind of special pumpkin. It's the carving pumpkins that are bright orange. I don't know how many years it was before we got the Cinderella, but we never threw a Cinderella pumpkin out there. So they cross-pollinated with something. So they all crossed with each other and bred this new pumpkin that loves to be in the shade for half the day, which I always thought that pumpkins of all the vegetables in the whole wide world that you needed to get like a full day of sun. Well, it's right next to the house. It does not get a full day of the sun. If you can see, this is where we don't have a gutter and we never have. So this area always tends to be wet from the rain and then it stays wet and cool because... Because it gets shaded so quickly. Yeah. Like right after one o'clock, it yeah. starts getting shaded. Shaded for the rest of the day. And these pumpkins do great. I mean, really, really, really great. One year we didn't water them once. How big were they that year? I don't remember, but... Well, we got, got one that was, you know, 18 inches wide or kind of flat. And they're great for pies too. They're amazing. And uh, it has like a peachy flesh. So I guess we can't really mimic this situation over in the garden. But we can mimic the afternoon shade and it certainly does well with that. So yeah, that's what we're thinking with our little uh, houses, our squash house. Our little pumpkin neighborhood. Now we just have to get some more pallets from our stack of pallets and uh, make these afternoon shade things. And where it's at an angle, you know, it won't be shaded until maybe 2.30 or so. But still, it'll get afternoon shade. So are you planning on putting another squash house right here? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So I'll go grab some pallets and... Do you want to dig some more holes, okay. I guess? Okay. So it looks like the odds are ever in our favor today. We just got the wood chips delivered. We're having them drop it closer to the garden, as you can see. <laughs> Can't believe it. Right when we needed it. That's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Feels like a blanket? Is it warm? It's very warm. Oh, wow, it is. It's so nice having this just 20 feet away instead of a thousand yards away, huh? Some of you new subscribers might ask, why in the world did you even have them dump it like 50 yards away? Oh, that's more than that, huh? So the reason we didn't have them dump it over right here next to the garden is because at the time that those trucks were dropping stuff off, this whole field was flooded. This was about two feet deep. There was a pond there until just last month. Blood family was there. Nice drop. Wow. <laughs> We're almost done with it. Put an aisle and it's only been five minutes. Well, we're just about done with this first row and the sun is going down, so we're actually gonna just finish up a little bit and then call it quits for the day and go get ice cream. <laughs> yes. Thanks for joining us. Please like and subscribe. Make sure to click in the links below. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so if you guys are already subscribed, you can get our videos sent to your email if you just click the bell icon and if you're not subscribed subscribe <laughs>